It was May Day, and the engines were celebrating. They knew there'd be music and lots of fun. The station was being decorated. The fat controller said that the engines could be too. I'm going to have flags and streamers, whistled Percy. I'm going to have a big red banner, whistled Thomas. What decorations will you have, Gordon? asked Murdoch. Decorations aren't dignified for an important engine like me. I pull the express. Gordon was feeling insulted. Silly little engines, he grunted. Thomas was enjoying himself. He was bringing the maypole. The farmer's children waved, and Thomas peeped happily as he passed by. Soon it was time for the decorating. Percy's driver was wrapping streamers and flags around his funnel. Thomas had a big red banner on his tanks. Even Murdoch was being decorated, although he was very shy about it. We could have a competition for the best dressed engine, suggested James. Just then, Gordon shunted in. A competition, he puffed. I'm bound to win any competition. You'll have to be decorated, said James. This is a best dressed engine competition. Not me, puffed Gordon. You'd never catch me looking so ridiculous. The engines felt splendid. But not Gordon. He was cross. Decorations aren't dignified. Huh. Who cares about a competition anyway? Further down his line, a colourful banner was strung across the bridge. Then, as Gordon steamed across the bridge, it came loose and wrapped around his firebox. He couldn't see the line ahead. Gordon tried to whoosh the banner off, but the banner wouldn't budge. I can't see, he whistled loudly to his driver. Stop! You can't stop, Gordon, his driver called back. You're the express. Trevor the traction engine was chugging slowly along with his load of apples for the children's apple bob. Trevor heard a whistle. He was going as fast as he could, but it wasn't fast enough. The apples were all smashed. James was the last engine to join the competition, or so he thought. Here comes Gordon! cried the passengers. We didn't think you wanted to be decorated, teased Thomas. I didn't, puffed Gordon. Well, he's definitely the best dressed engine, said James. All the engines agreed. Gordon was secretly pleased but he didn't think it was dignified to say so. Silly Gordon. <laughs>